I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today's tool for getting out of power struggles is to teach your child to say no respectfully. Think about when you were growing up. Were you allowed to say no to your parents? Most parents report that they were not allowed to say no to to their parents. And when I ask them, what would happen if you said no to your parents? I'll get answers like, well, I'd get spanked, I'd get slapped, I'd get grounded, I'd be punished, I'd get yelled at. Some parents say, I don't know what would have happened. I just know, or I knew, never to say no to my parents. So there's an implied threat of bodily harm or injury that would occur if we said no to our parents. So the next question is, if you were not allowed to say no directly, that is on the table, what were some things that you said or did to say no indirectly or under the table? In this, in response to this question, many parents will answer things like, well, I lied or I, I said I'd do it, but then I would forget. So forgetting is a big one. Um, doing a lousy job of it, not giving it a hundred percent. There's a lot of ways that kids will say no in an indirect way when they're not allowed to say no in, in an overt way. So what you want to do is you want to figure out what is an, a respectful no that you can allow in your home. Because I know if you're like me, I was raised, you don't ever say no to your parents. And so that was ingrained in me so much that if my kids said no to me, the hair would stand up on the back of my neck. I would just want to yell and holler, you don't ever say no to me. However, having this information made me realize I do want my kids to be able to say no I do want my kids to say no to bad things like, you know, drugs and bad influences when they get older and even authority figures if those authority figures are going against their conscience. We want our kids to be able to stand up for themselves. If our, if as our, their first authority figure, we don't ever let them say no to us. It's very difficult for them to say no to any authority fig- figures in the future. So, they might say no to me, the hair will stand up on the back of my neck, and then I'll just respond with something like, I respect your right to say no to me, and I'd like to, you to say it like this, no thank you. And they'll go, no thank you. Great. So what are we going to do about taking out the trash or whatever it is that you asked them to do? One of the issues that happens when we get into fights with our children about saying no to us is that we make two power struggles out of one. Often we ask them to do something, and then they say no, And then now we're going to have to discipline both their disrespectful attitude and the thing that we asked them to do in the first place. So two problems have just popped out of just one. And this idea, teaching them to say no respectfully, is a way to just get right back to the task at hand, to not let them draw you off the original problem, which is that they need to do a chore, they need to do a task, they need to get ready for bed, something like that. So teaching them to say no respectfully means modeling it, saying no to them in a respectful tone of voice when it's appropriate for you to do so, and to also ask them to say no to you respectfully. Now, again, you have to figure out what will work for you. Some parents absolutely just cannot handle any type of no. So you're going to have to figure out some kind of responses for them to express themselves other than that. If you think you can allow a no, for me, it was no, no thank you, and no, that doesn't work for me. So I would continually say those types of phrases to them over and over and teach them to say those in a regular tone of voice. And I didn't power struggle with them. If they said it in a nasty tone and repeat, and as they repeated it to me, I just got right back to the issue at hand. I did not engage with them. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Happy parenting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Debbie Godfrey, owner and founder of PositiveParenting.com. I hope you'll go and check out my website and follow me on Instagram and let me know about what you thought about today's episode. Did you learn something new? Were you able to do something different with your children? Did you have a success story? Those are my favorite to share. Let me know. Contact me. I'd love to hear from you. And also, What future topics would you be interested in hearing about on the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast? Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support. Take care and happy parenting.